This early part of June is a little bit of a frustrating time to be a Nashville Predators fan. You have star defenseman Ryan Suter headed down the path towards unrestricted free agency. Uh, General Manager David Poyle recently announced that Alexander Radiloff will not be back with the team, and he's either looking to trade the winger or just watch him go back to the KHL and, and try to continue dominating over there. So when you look towards the next season, there's a bit of a question how they're going to fill all these holes. But perhaps it's worth remembering that there is some cause for optimism. And in particular, I'm thinking of four rookies who really made an outstanding impact this last season. And we'll be very interested to see what steps they're able to take in the season ahead. You know, first we have Craig Smith. This guy came out on the scene. Over the first two months of last season, he was Nashville's offensive leader. Now, granted, that tailed off over the course of the season. The, the long 82-game NHL campaign is, you know, frankly, uh, it, it's a bit of a grind. And coming out of the college ranks, Smith had something to adjust to there. So the challenge for him is going to be maintaining that consistency and ensuring that he's as good in the second half of next season as he can be in the first. Another forward who made an outstanding impact was winger Gabriel Bork. This guy, he came up right around the midpoint last season, and slowly but surely he earned his way into a very prominent role. And by the time the playoffs came around, he was skating on the second line alongside David Legwand and really was one of the leading factors in their first-round victory over the Detroit Red Wings. For Bork, his speed is a real game-breaker. It's something that really nobody else on the wing can bring to the table. So when you look into the next season, is he going to continue plugging away, say, in a third or fourth line role? Or could he potentially bump off one of the top six wingers and earn a more prominent spot in the lineup? Now, being Nashville, of course, we also have young guys making an impact on defense. And it's there where Roman Yossi really stepped into his own in his rookie campaign. He got off to a really slow start due to a concussion suffered in training camp. But once he got into the lineup, he really differentiated himself with his ability to carry the puck and move the puck up ice, and in particular the way he was able to handle the point on the power play. He looks to be a really solid contributor there in the years ahead. Now, he does have some work to do in the defensive zone. He needs to add that, that snarl to his game that maybe he didn't quite have coming over from Europe. But in the year ahead, we'd expect him to fill in the role, uh, second pair uh, on even strength, and also on the power play where he should be able to make a major impact. The other defenseman who really opened some eyes this last year was Ryan Ellis. Now, he played about 30 games in much more of a sheltered role. A lot of offensive zone starts, you know, mostly playing against third or fourth line competition. But in doing so, he was still able to make an offensive impact. And particularly on the power play, it'll be really interesting to see what he can do in the year ahead. Will he also be able to work his way up into a second pair job? That may be a bit too much to ask. But in 2012-2013 season, if Ryan Ellis can step into being, say, a regular third-pair guy and a power play specialist, he could provide some added punch that, frankly, the Predators are going to miss with a guy like Alexander Radiloff heading off over the horizon. So between these four rookies, who do you think is going to be best positioned to make a major impact on the 2012-2013 Nashville Predators? I'd like to get your thoughts on that in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. I'm Dirk Hogue of On The Forecheck.